name is Holly and welcome to the royalty. Welcome in to part 12 of Hell's Reach. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my royal patrons. My tier 2 royalty, Izzo, and my tier 1 royalty, Hansel Panda, Suki SJ, Sternly, Dan Cohen, Chaos315, Matt Ben, and Dale Niren. Your support allows me to make my content sponsor free. The following fan work is unofficial and in no way endorsed by Games Workshop. Okay, let's go. Only wall. Sorry, I always have to do that only wall. Nice skull. Kind of oppressive. Good vibe. I love the Grimaldus sign, just like, Grimaldus. Nutshot that dude? Holy fuck! Okay. Get up. It's kind of metal. Seeing someone with an axe and then being like, stand up and fight! <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Orcs. I do actually like the orcs a lot more now, but still, fuck you orcs! Hello, Reclusiarch! <laughs> it's that guy! Hey, that guy! <clears throat> you have the thanks of the Black Templars, Stormtrooper. It was good timing, I think. What is your name? Uh, Trooper Andre, 703rd Steel Legion Stormtrooper Division, sir. It is good to see you on the field. Courage such as yours belongs at the vanguard. Oh, thank you, Reclusiak. I will remember your names and deeds this day. All of you. Hell's Reach may burn, but this war is not lost. Yeah, I am very honored, Reclusiak, as are these handsome and fine gentlemen with me. I love that. He's like, and these handsome fuckers around here. Yeah. Pretty good group, right? But if you could tell my captain about this, I would be even happier. <laughs> it will be done, Trooper Andre. That's damn ballsy to look at Reclusiak in the face and be like, yo, but could you tell my captain? My word. Yeah, I am hopeful this will also impress the lady I intend to marry. Aww. Yes. Good. <laughs> Graham is like, if you gonna get some, go get some, man. 
What's that? It can't be what it looks like. It is. Ah, uh, yeah. What are they? Drop pods. Astartes drop pods. Let's fucking go! Fight at your side, Reclusiak Grimaldus. The Templars are in your debt, but tell me, brother, why have you come? No way! We were the last of the Salamanders in orbit. The Lord of the Fireborn called us to him, and we obeyed. Master Tushan, may the Emperor continue to favor him, fights far from here, brother. The Salamanders bleed the enemy many leagues to the east, and the Hemlock River runs black with alien blood. The Salamanders were not blind to your plight, honored Reclusiak. Oh. My lord and master heard <clears throat> of the assured civilian devastation in the fall of the city's coastal districts. We are the 70 warriors chosen to make planetfall here, and stand with you until the docks are held. And then you will leave. And then we will leave. Our fight is along the banks of the Hemlock. Our glory is there. At least he's here to help though, bro. This city, it smells like home. I don't know whether that's a dig or a compliment. The most honorable Legio Invigilata has been petitioned by outside forces to leave the city. She will stay. She swore to fight. Yes, I understand it. The Imperial advances along the length of the Hemlock River are grinding to a halt. The settlements there, protected by the Salamanders and regiments of the Cadian Shock, are now considered a higher priority than the city. This is from the old man himself. It came over the Vox an hour ago. Listen here. Listen here. Where's your priorities at? If they sent the Salamanders, they, they've got it good over there. If they didn't have it good over there, why would they send the Salamanders here? Answer me that. I do not care. <laughs> Our mandate is to defend Hell's Reach. Our mandate, yes. But Princess Saha's mandate was to deploy where she desired. She will not leave. She is here until the end. Oh, enough, please, Reclusiak. Storm Herald is embattled seven kilometers down the Hell's Highway with an enemy scrap titan battalion in the Rosteric Ironworks. She has given no further word of her decision. What of the, uh, weapon, Reclusiak? A fool's hope. Ouch. But I do have a question. If orc spawns, will spawn more orcs when they're killed? Um, is there any winning this battle? Would it not just be better to relocate people? None of us had much hope pinned on the Ordinatus. Mm -hmm. It was the longest of long shots. Anyway, you slice it. Nice. <sighs> there is 
is nothing to like in them. They wage war to defend, to preserve. Everything in their way is devoted to maintaining what humanity already has. Now, I mean no offense to them as warriors, but drop podding into the city purely to defend civilians? <laughs> Madness! Alright, come on. Let them do what they're gonna do. They've got their reasons. So do you. Master that, please. You know I am right. I know you are treading on unstable ground. Do not besmirch. <laughs> that means, like, I'm telling you now, you are treading on unstable ground means you're being a dick, bro. You're being a dick, and you're gonna get in shit if people hear this, so shut the fuck up. Much the honor of our brother chapter. The salamanders shed as much blood as we did this week. That is not the point. That is where is. you and I disagree, brother. But you are young. <laughs> you will learn. Do not patronize me, old man. I'm not that old. Uh, in space for terms, y'all both ancient. Like, holy shit, isn't the lifespan like a day? Do not laugh at me. Well, stop making me laugh. What two chapters fight the same? What two chapters <clears throat> wage war according to the same principles? We are all born of different worlds and trained by different masters. Accept the differences and stand with them as allies. You, sir, are an... Uh, completely correct. Completely correct. You are a scholar and a gentleman. Sergeant Fareth, the people of Hell's Reach and Armageddon offer their thanks to you and your brothers for the assistance. You'll quit the city today? The Lord of the Fireborn calls. Quite so, quite so. I offer my personal thanks. Without your arrival, many more would have lost their lives. You are fighting with ferocity unmatched, Steel Legionnaire. It was an honor to fight at your side on the streets of your city. The honor was ours, Vareth. Hunt well in the wastelands and give my thanks to your lord. Ah. See, look at that. People being nice to each other. It happens. What do you want, Salamander? To speak, if you are willing, Reclusiarch. Okay. I would be honored, I tell him. But this is a lie. My brothers and I came to this city without the illuminating guidance of our chaplain. We would offer reverent thanks if you would lead us in prayer before we quit the city and rejoin our chapter by the shores of the Hemlock. I know little of your chapter's cult and creed, Salamander. We know this, Reclusiak. Still, we would offer sincere thanks. Think of the battle last night. There was one moment in the chaos that still preys upon my mind. It casts a shadow over us now, like an enemy's spear threatening to fall. What aspect of the battle- That was a really good metaphor. Grim is quite eloquent. Troubles you, Reclusiak. A fine question. Salamanders. They're holding. They're what? Follow us in the name of the throne. Hold back. Hold back to the eastern platform and be ready to engage the second wave. Advance! If we strike now, there will be no second wave. We're at the warlord's throat. Are they just gonna leave him? Okay, okay, now I get why they're mad. He's getting away! Fall back! Sir! No! We've got no choice! Fall back! This is not worth dying over. We do not have the numbers to spill the warlord's blood now. We 
was so close. I see. You consider this a stain on your personal honor? No, brother. I consider it a waste of time, ammunition, and life. Two of your own squad were killed in the successive waves that followed. If we had pursued in unity, we could have broken through to the enemy leader and taken his head. It is tactically unsound, Reclusiak. Pursuit would have left his shelter undefended and vulnerable to regrouping waves attacking from other sectors. Three thousand lives were saved by our defiance last night. There were no attacks from other sectors. There may have been, had we pursued. I am finished with this debate, Salamander. I get why he's upset. You could have took the Warmaster's head. That would have, like, swung things so far into your side. It grieves me to hear you speak this way, Reclusiak. Get out of my city. <laughs> you heard him, Salamanders! Should have gone for the war master's head i would have gone for the war master's head he was right there he was in front of them they could see him through the crowd there wasn't many left to get through and with their provisions like they could have but they should have got that done before before they move back because if the orcs are gonna like come back then that's the only way to fucking deal with them you know but i digress next episode is available on patreon now and I will see you guys next week for some more Warhammer. If you liked this episode, please do leave a like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and leave a comment. Tell me if you're excited for the final that's coming up next week. <laughs> I am proud of y'all for getting through today. Even more proud of you for getting through tomorrow. Alvidasen, Adidas Dirtchi, Gudashudas, Alawego. Peace. See you on the next one. Bye!